Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your morning news bulletin on Friday. Dundee have taken command of the Premiership playoff tie with Kilmarnock after winning the first leg 2-1 at Dens Park last night. Jordan McGee and Charlie Adam got the goals and the winning margin could have been more. Manager James McPate was delighted with the result and is confident ahead of Monday's second leg. It was a good performance. Um, to a man I thought they were excellent but it's only job half done and, and there's a lot of football to be played in this tie yet. Their fans will be in, ours won't. It's the same two teams going head to head and if it's the same if it's the same performance for our team then I believe we'll be a Premiership club come come Monday evening. Killer gave themselves a lifeline late on through Brandon Hornstrup and boss Tommy Wright knows they must improve in four days' time or they could be playing in the second tier for the first time in 28 years. In the end he was satisfied with the scoreline after the nature of the game. I think Dundee probably edged it uh, on chances and um, we have uh, but we have put ourselves back in the game, so uh, you know at 2-0 it could quite easily have made another mistake and the, you know, the conditions that we had to play under, but we didn't, uh, stayed in the game at 2-0 and got a good goal back for us. The other playoff last night saw Dumbarton secure their League 1 status despite a 1-0 defeat on the evening. Jim Duffy's men were 3-2 victors on aggregate with captain Stuart Carswell claiming his team showed why they are in League 1 and that they still deserve to be there. And Hibernian meets St Johnston in the Scottish Cup final tomorrow. Defender Ryan Porteous is desperate to get his hands on the trophy to fulfil his childhood dream of winning it with Hibs. This was my dream growing up. You know, that, that goal, that one kind of thing that you, you really want to try and do is win the Scottish Cup of Hibs, um, regardless of whether you know, the team done it in 2016 or not. It's always been a, a lifelong goal for me. And now that we've kind of put ourselves in a position as a team, you know, it's something I definitely don't want to pass by. Thanks for watching and don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels, which is where you can also catch up on our special documentary on how Rangers stop the 10.